I've always been active. I grew up in between two brothers and early on they played sports, so I played sports. And I don't, I don't know, I've just always loved it. I always remember this, we were at a baseball game and I got the foul ball, which is a big deal, especially being a girl, I got the foul ball. Um, so then me and my girlfriend were playing catch with it out front and she overthrew it, I missed it, and two teenage boys ran off with my ball. So that, at that moment I decided that nobody's going to steal my ball. Um, it's going to be better and faster, stronger, and just fight for everything I want. Holy cow! LaVoy throwing everything she has into it. CrossFit athlete, stand number four. Wow! So I started Timber Sports in college, and I think that, honestly, I just started at a really good time because there was no not a lot of women in the sport. So I remember just a handful in the college groups and then professional level, there was just two of us that I saw for an entire season. So um, it was just, it was successful early on. I won money, I won trophies, got to travel and it, I just fell into it and everything about it was just a blast. I fell in love with CrossFit about 12 years ago and then opened this gym. Because I've always wanted to own something and that just kind of fell into my lap. So I opened the gym, I started training people. And it fit my lifestyle of lumberjack sports being kind of the number one priority. I was grounded for the first two years when I was opening this place, but I still got to train. I just couldn't travel and compete as much. And then after that, you know, I found coaches to cover me while I was gone, and I could work when I'm here. I can work on the road. So it's just a fantastic lifestyle that I've built for myself, and it's really helped me be successful. My days are awesome. I get up at four, I leave the house, I open the gym at five, all my friends come in and I get to help people start their day out right. The days look amazing, but there's a lot of other work that I do. I'm constantly answering emails and phone calls and finding new members and filling and everything that goes with owning a gym. I got you. But it's still, I can't complain. <laughs> I love it. 10 rep max today. So it's gonna wrap. It's down the middle of you. Okay. Okay, wrap and step. I'm just able to stand on this a lot better so I can trust it. CrossFit keeps me in shape. When I go on stage and I know that it's gonna be hard and I have to go hard, I think, well, this is just a workout. You don't have that time to think about how hard it is or to take an extra breath or a sip of water. Um, you're gonna lose because it's on the clock, just like my sport, so. When things are tough, that's when I think, well, this event is coming, I gotta dig in because I wanna win this. I can climb mountains and not get tired, which I just feel like life is better when you're fit. You get to do a lot more things, you get to enjoy them more, you get to live longer. I'm almost to the point in my wood chopping career where it's kind of like been there, done that. So when I lose to somebody, that's motivating. So it takes a loss for me to get fired up and to have something to fight for again. I mean, what gets me in the zone really is putting my volleys on and my feet feel the stage and your hands grab that ax and it's a nice chalked up. And I think that just the feeling of all of those things, just me touching the things and grabbing them, getting ready to go, just I think that's where I get in my zone and it's, let's go.